Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to say, this is a quick disclaimer, my editor has not been working too good recently, so if there's any cuts in my voices that are unexpected, sorry about that, I'm trying my best to fix this problem, I still have no idea uh, what's wrong, if any of you guys uh, know how to fix it, it's not letting me play the video, and I use HitFilm Express as my editor. Uh, now with that said, uh, sorry if there's any cuts or anything like that, and with that said, um, let's go ahead and start the tutorial. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Creation Craft. In this video, I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to build an ambulance in Minecraft. Now before the video starts, there are uh, there's one thing I want to quickly mention, is that uh, if you've seen my tutorials before, this is a, what I like to call a bedrock friendly tutorial. You don't need any mods or world edit or anything like that to complete this tutorial. Everything is, um, a-okay with that. So, uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and jump right in real quick here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and building an ambulance right here. Uh, this is, this part right here is actually our own design for our, uh, city and, uh, stuff like that. But I'll just go ahead and be showing you how to make the plain version so that you can add designs yourself. Uh, obviously, we got all the lights here. And, uh, yeah, uh, there will be one, two, three, four, five, uh, technically four layers on this ambulance. So, let's go ahead and start with layer one. Alright, now I will go ahead and show you what you need for layer one. You're going to need blocks of coal, stone buttons... Iron trap doors, smooth stone slabs, stone brick slabs, wither skeleton skulls, and some birch, uh, some birch fence gates. Uh, the wither skeleton skull and the birch fence gates will be used for some detailing on the bumper here. So let me go ahead and destroy this, and let's start with layer one. So uh, go to your starting point or wherever you're going to be building uh, this ambulance, and just go ahead and place. A block of coal down with a stone button uh, actually skip that and skip one block in the middle and place another block of coal on the outer sides of t uh, these two blocks of coal go ahead and place down your stone button for some detailing for the rim now go ahead and take your smooth stone slab and place a top slab in between there in between these two wheels come to the front of it place a stone brick top slab with one out to either side. Now for the quick detailing of the front bumper, go ahead and grab your birch fence gate and place it on that middle block right here and go ahead and open it so that it's connected with this stone brick top slab. On either side, place a wither skeleton skull facing outwards just like so. And make sure it's connected to the birch fence gate, not on the bottom like that because obviously it's not connected. Uh, sh hit a uh, shift or whatever you're using for crouch on either controller or PC and go ahead and put it on either sides of that birch fence gate now come to the back of this stone, uh, sorry smooth stone slab and place two more uh, sorry three more and on these last two right here go ahead and make it a two by three of whoops of uh, smooth stone uh, top slabs Take your iron trap door and in that remaining space right here, go ahead and place that down like this uh, to make a little configuration just like this. Once you've gotten that, take your smooth stone slab and place four more behind uh, this middle one right here. So one, two, three, four. On that fourth one, out to either side, you're going to go ahead and place another block of coal with once again your stone buttons out to either side. Now behind this uh, middle uh, smooth stone slab, go ahead and place uh, one more right here, and then one stone brick slab right here. And behind that stone brick slab, go ahead and place a row of three just like this. Now in the remaining gaps right here, go ahead and fill that in with your iron trap doors. So there should be three, uh, a total of six right here and a total of four right here, leaving ten through those gaps. And with that, you have completed layer one. Now, for this next uh, layer, layer two, uh, you're going to need a full uh, inventory of this. Uh, not inventory, but your, of your hotbar. So, you're going to need uh, blast furnaces, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz blocks, levers, 
polished blackstone buttons, burnt signs, stone buttons, acacia buttons, uh, and white concrete. Uh, quite a lot of buttons here for uh, all these, f uh, f sorry, five right here are going to be for detailing on the sides like the uh, stone button and the birch sign. So yeah, they will be used for uh, lights and all that stuff on the side of the ambulance. Let me go ahead and replace that and get my white concrete back. Alright, so go ahead and come to the front here where this middle stone brick top slab is and take your blast furnace and place it right there facing forwards just like this. Smooth quartz stairs out uh, off either side uh, facing forwards. Take your smooth quartz um, stair once again and place an upside down one on top of the two wheels right here and in the middle there just go ahead and place a smooth quartz block. Now we're just going to go ahead and place uh, our smooth quartz block all the way back to this stone brick block right there so go ahead and place a marker there and bring this all the way back. On this very last one, go ahead and replace it with your white concrete, just like this. This is for the back door of the ambulance. Uh, now that you've done that, the last two things for our smooth quartz block is on top of this iron trap door in this first smooth stone slab, we're going to go ahead and place that just like this. And that's all you're going to need for your smooth quartz for now. Uh, go ahead and grab your block of quartz instead now. So if you were just using quartz origin, uh, originary, um, then make sure to replace what I just put with your smooth quartz uh, stairs and blocks. Uh, this is just for detailing so that you can kind of tell where the cab is sort of and where the main area is right here. So on this block right here, go ahead and place your block of quartz right there and um, place that all the way until you get on top of this wheel. So three more. Uh, uh, go ahead and place a upside down smooth, uh, sorry, not smooth quartz. Let me get that again. Uh, yeah, smooth quartz upside down stair. And then two more uh, blocks of quartz like that. Exactly the same on the other side. So bring this all the way back with your smooth quartz stair ups upside down right here and then two more just like that now for the detailing uh, go ahead and grab your lever go ahead and place one right here on this uh, smooth quartz block right here make sure it's flip facing upwards on both side sides just like that take your polish blackstone button and behind that place one right there on that very last smooth quartz block on uh, the side of the the first very first quartz block, go ahead and place a burnt sign just like this, just like so. Skip one block, and on that uh, second block, go ahead and place two stone buttons actually on these two spots right here. Now come back to the very back block right here. On the right side of it, you're gonna go ahead and place a stone button, and on the back side of it, you're gonna place an acacia button. So repeat what I just did on the other side, and once you've gotten that, you should be completed with layer two. So once again, for this layer, you're gonna need a full hot bar of uh, items. You're gonna need a white carpet, gray stained glass pane, black stained glass, with a skeleton skull, smooth quartz blocks, blocks of quartz, birch signs, wart buttons, and jungle buttons. So that's mainly what you're going to need for this layer. And also something that I want to point out that I missed in the last layer is go ahead and take your smooth quartz block and actually the block that this sign is on, go ahead and replace it with your smooth quartz block instead of the regular quartz. I messed that up. Uh, sorry about that, and go ahead and replace your birch sign on either side. Now we can go ahead and start with uh, layer 3. So on top of this blast furnace, go ahead and shift click and place your white carpet right here. And behind there, place a whoops a row of 3 of white carpet just like so. Go ahead and grab your gray stained glass planes. 
um, and place a row of three right behind there. And behind that row of three, go ahead and place another row of three, except a full box of black stained glass. Now actually on this lever right here, we're going to go ahead and replace it with a temporary block. Don't worry, this is this is not have to gonna do with any mods or world edit. But on top of this block, make sure to place a wither skeleton skull. And instead of facing backwards or forwards, make sure it's facing diagonal and make sure the face is heading towards the inside. Just so that it's a little bit hard to notice it and makes it a little bit more realistic. Now just go ahead and break that and replace it with your levers once again. Alright, now that you've gotten that, behind this row of three of uh, black stained glass, place a row of three of smooth quartz. Yes, I know, a lot of rows of three. Um, but yeah, so now we have basically finished the front area of the ambulance. We do have some little sirens and stuff to do in the next layer, but we don't need to worry about that right now. This time, grab your actual block of quartz and... Uh, Go ahead and, um, at this block right here, just for really quickly, place your black stained glass right above this, uh, white concrete block right here. And with your block of quartz, replace the rest of the area with your block of quartz. And one thing I want to mention real quick, uh, before we do go on to with the detailing, is that this vehicle will not be accessible from the inside. So if you're going to be role playing or anything like that with this vehicle, um, I'd like to say that you can't really go, you can go inside, I mean, but it is a one block gap, so it would be very small if you were to try and roleplay or do anything inside with this vehicle. Now to move on with our details, go ahead and grab your warp button. And uh, also, make sure you're in 1.16 or up, so after the nether update has um, came. Grab your warp button and place it on the uh, edge of this smooth, last smooth quartz block right there on either side. And then skip all these blocks and come to the very last one and go ahead and place your burnt sign on both sides. And on the, whoops, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. There we go. Alright, and once you've uh, done that on the back of the same block, go ahead and place your jungle button for more back breaks and turning signals. And once you've gotten that, you have finished layer 3, and now we will move on to the last two layers, actually. Instead of one layer, we're going to be doing layer 4 and 5 together, because uh, they're both pretty small. Alright, so now all you're going to need for these last two layers is your daylight sensor and make sure they are on polished diorite stairs, blocks of quartz, white carpets, polished diorite slabs, acacia buttons, and warped buttons. So this is all you're going to need for these next two layers. They are very short and very easy. So go ahead and come to this last row of three of smooth quartz and on the edges of it right there go ahead and place your daylight sen uh, sensors and make sure they are turned on to make them a, a shade of blue now we are going to have a upside down stair right here but we're we're going to quickly finish off the top right here so go ahead and grab your block of quartz and just on top of everything up here go ahead and place another row just like this now on top of this go ahead and place white carpet all on top and not on this front one, but on the last, on the two behind that right there, you're going to go ahead and replace it with your polished diorite slabs. And back to your polished diorite stairs, go ahead and place it upside down polished diorite stair right there in between these two daylight sensors. Now finally to finish this tutorial off, we are going to be doing the details on the side for the lights. Go ahead and grab your acacia buttons, place one right here. Uh, on either side on this uh, one of these first regular quartz blocks and behind that go ahead and place a uh, place a wart button do the same on the back except mirrored so it's basically the opposite like so and then on the back here go ahead and place your wart buttons on top of the the block that the jungle buttons are on 
Now, congratulations, you have finished this tutorial on how to build a ambulance. Uh, just wanted to say real quick, uh, if you're wondering why on this version there is sort of a, sh a streak of a certain color, that is actually because um, that's a certain design that we have for our city. So in this world, we are making designs for our city, so stay tuned for some of that. Uh, but you can make your own design on here if you're using it in any city or something like that. And speaking of using it in your own world, make sure you always give credit to Creation Craft for building this. Just as long as there, you have put credit somewhere in your world that is uh, visible, then that'll be perfectly fine. Uh, so always remember to do that if you're using this tutorial in any of your worlds. Now with that, uh, we thank you all for watching this video, and uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this tutorial, and to uh, see some more, uh, there will be one tutorial every single week on Thursdays. So stay tuned for that, uh, hit the bell to never miss an upload, and uh, yeah, we will see you all in the next one. Bye bye